This is the mass for 3B4. We have, what, 10.58 grams of zinc for class 3B4. All right, the mass of the zinc for 4B5 is 11.68 grams. All right, so we have the sample of zinc inside of this tube. We have hydrochloric acid in the graduated cylinder and pouring the hydrochloric acid carefully onto the zinc. And you will notice that there's an immediate reaction. Gas is being released and that's gonna sit there and bubble for quite a long time. So we're gonna let that sit overnight. Let's zoom in and see what that looks like. Once again, very active bubbling. Zinc is reacting with the hydrochloric acid. These are the tubes of zinc and hydrochloric acid that were left overnight. And as you can see, that some of the zinc has reacted in both classes. And a lot of zinc still remains, but there's no bubbling left over from the night before. So what do we need to do now? Is we're going to drain off the liquid portion, and then we are going to weigh the zinc, so that way we can know how much of the zinc actually got reacted. Then we're going to evaporate off any excess water from both of the uh, materials and see how much of the zinc chloride is going to remain. And from that mass, we should be able to figure out the formula for each. So I have a crucible and lid for each one of the reactions. The one on this side weighs 40.00 grams. The one for the 4B5 class, or trial two, if you wish, 39.36 grams. All right, so next, we are going to move this out of the way. I'm gonna carefully pour out just the liquid portion. And then we're going to rinse this with a little bit of water. And over here, same thing. Carefully pouring out just the liquid portion. So then I'm going to add some water to both of these, rinse them slightly put them into their respective containers, and then heat them up to boil off the water. So you can hear that the fume hood is now on, so that way it can take any vapors out that might be nasty. Uh, you'll notice I have put 3B4s on the left and 4B5s classes on the right. And you'll notice I've also on the crucibles have left the lid partially open to let any vapor escape. We'll let that sit for a few minutes and hopefully it'll come out, come out nice and dry. So after a few minutes you'll notice that it is now starting to bubble on the inside portion here. So let's take a look. See that it's boiling. And I don't want it to overflow, but I still want the vapor to release so I have those sections open. I'm just going to wait a few more minutes to get that completely dry. In the meantime, if we take a look over here, the chunks of zinc are sitting on top of the air conditioner so they can get blow dried on top of the paper towel. That's for 34A. This is for 4B5. And we will let those completely dry before we mass them.
So here we are once again. And if we take a look on the inside, a little bit more bubbling left there, not too much. Let's check the other one out. That one looks like it's completely stopped bubbling entirely. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and forklift this one off and let that sit on the countertop to cool. We'll leave the other one to dry for just a few more moments. Let's check out the zinc pieces. So you'll notice the zinc pieces look like they are dry, and they look like they're dry. So we'll see what we can do to get these ready to be masked. All right, here are the chunks of zinc for my 3-4-A class. The mass of the chunks of zinc are three point, I'm sorry, 9.70 grams. 9.70 grams. For the 4B5 class, mass of the zinc is 10.82 grams. 10.82 grams. Last but not least, we still have to wait for the crucibles to cool, and then we'll be able to weigh those as well. All right, both crucibles and lids have cooled. Let's take a look to see what this stuff looks like. There is three, four A's, zinc and chlorine compound, inside the crucible with the lid, having a mass of 41.88 grams. Here is 4B5's class. There's the compound. And again, crucible and lid. 41.19 grams. That concludes the data that you will need to collect for this experiment.